The next disease is uh, 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 al-haz, al-haz'u. And uh, this is uh, derision, deriding people, uh, making fun of people. Uh, in, in the Quran, when, Ibrahim, when Musa salam, tells the Bani Israel to sacrifice the cow, they, they say, Atastahzi'u bina, are you making fun of us? Is this huzu? And he said, A'udhu bidah and akum min al-jahideen. I seek refuge that I should be from the ignorant ones. From that, the ulama took it that istihza is from jahad. It's ignorant to, uh, to have istihza towards people, to make fun of people. That, that's a type of ignorance. And um, it, this can be lampooning, right? Uh, making caricatures of people, drawing funny things. Uh, in this culture, you have comedians that make fun of people and... Uh, and, and anybody, they take as their target. What he says about this, first of all, uh, that its cure is the same cure for arrogance because it's a type of arrogance. If you see them as less than you, then it's kibar, then you're arrogant. And this is why uh, the, the Moroccans say this, but it's actually from uh, Sayyidina Ali. Um, they say, La تحقيرو... Uh, don't, don't belittle anybody because he might be a wali of Allah. And the reason for that is, even if you see a man drunk, vomiting on the street, you don't know what his seal is. Right? And that's why Imam al-Qurtabi said, Omar, when he was bowing down to idols in Mecca, was still the beloved with Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because al-umur bi khawatimiha, uh, Allah knows what the seal is. So that, that Omar who was bowing down to idols that the, the Muslims could have looked at and made fun of and what a stupid idiot and a polytheist, etc., etc. They didn't know Omar. Right? They were just seeing one stage. And that's why it's very dangerous to judge somebody uh, where they are or make fun of them or things like that. And that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu la yaskhar qawmun Min qawmin asa and yakunu khayram minhum. Don't let one people mock another people because maybe they're better than them. And don't let a group of women mock another group of women because maybe they're better than them. Mm-hmm. He said that um, he did not say anything and said even Jibreel laughed at them. Allah, I don't know. It might be. But uh, what I know is that the Prophet was commanded not to curse their gods. Don't curse those who call on other than Allah, meaning the idols, because they will curse Allah out of ignorance. And that's called Sadda Dhari'a. So things like burning the Israeli flag publicly. Uh, Muslims do stuff like that or burning the American flag. What you're going to do is have them go and take Qurans or something and burn them or stomp on them or you're going to have them go and take a, a Saudi Arabian flag that has La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah on it and stomp on it and burn it. So you incite them to do something that you know is not only bad for them but it's also it's, it's uh, sacrilegious to us. Right? We don't want people cursing Allah. So, so you shouldn't do that. There's no reason to do it. And that's why the Prophet ﷺ, in his victories, he was, never, uh, he was never boastful. When he went into Mecca, he went with his head bowed down. He didn't go in triumphant leader. He went with his head bowed down. Total humility. And, and that, that's the great, that's the warrior. I mean, that's the great, not that other one. Because so. that's Jahiliya. I mean, that's Abu, uh, you know, that's that's uh, Abu Jahal. No, that, that's what those people do. And we're supposed to be above that. We're supposed to be in a real way, not not in a in a false way, in a deep way. Mm-hmm. Uh, regarding the fact that we don't know the seal of a person, how they'll end up where they if their Muhammad might change, so we don't derive them. But what about like, praying against them? Oh, or... well, that's you can pray against uh, your enemies. Uh, it's mustahab to make dua for people, uh, for guidance. 
That's mustahab. It's not a wajib. It's mustahab to make dua for people. Um, Some of the ulama said, don't curse Israel, because it was the name of a prophet. Right? <laughs> the name of a prophet. So, you know, but, I mean, the point is, is that, and then also, you know, there a lot of Jews become Muslim. They have throughout history, and they still do. Right? And there are Jews that become Muslim. There's been Israelis that have become Muslim. So they're human beings. I mean, they're not demons. They're human beings. Right? The Serbs are human beings. I mean, I, there, there's some, been some good articles recently just about the demonization of the Serbs. The Serbs are our enemies, and, and they did some horrible things. But they're human beings that can become Muslim. What the Jihadi Arabs, Hind ate the bit into the liver of Hamza. I mean, that's, it doesn't get much more barbaric than that. She became a Muslim. Wahshi, who killed him, became a Muslim. So people can make Tawbah, and they can become Muslim. And those people that did all those things, you know, it'd be interesting to see what they're like now, how they're sleeping at night, you know, because people do things in war and, and they pay for it for the rest of their lives. And, uh, and more, Vietnamese, Viet, uh, more veterans of the Vietnam War have committed suicide than died in Vietnam in this country. Right? A lot of people don't know that. So they paid their price, and the people at the Gulf War uh, who saw that carnage, you know, they'll pay their price. They're human beings. They have hearts, you know. I mean, you, you, you all of you have worked with non-Muslims. They cry. They have tears. Allah said, you know, in yamsaskum qarhun faqad masraqum qarhun mithruhu. If you're afflicted with something, they get afflicted with it too, right? So we all bleed red. Uh huh. <laughs> well, I mean, the Prophet ﷺ, there's du'as in the Quran against the Vadi mean. So anybody who oppresses, which is why the Prophet ﷺ said, "Rubba qari and the Quran, wal Quran yalanuhu." Maybe a man's reading the Quran and the Quran's cursing him, <laughs> right? Because Allah says, "Ala inna la'na tala ala kadibin." Isn't it that the la'na of Allah is on the, those who lie? If you're reading the Quran and you're a liar, you're reading a curse on you. Every, and he, you know, inshallah, Allah gives tawfiq. It's all tawfiq from Allah. You know, to be able to do that. It's a gift from Allah. And the thing, I would be that, the thing that prevents us from qiyam al and these things is uh, riba, you know, eating haram things, all, all that. That's what stops it. Because this is a gift from Allah. And people that have done it in their lives and then lost it, they know that the time that they were given that, it was a gift from Allah. And when it's taken away, it's, a, it's like a punishment. So you just make tawbah, ask Allah to give us, inshallah, all tawfiq. But it's a gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the, the, the people of uh, the qawm, they, they used to have so much muhasaba of themselves that whenever they were afflicted with something, they knew what caused it. And one of the ulama said, I once... Uh, uh, said something about somebody I shouldn't have said and I was deprived to Hajjud for 40 days because of it. So they, they could see like relations of why things happen. And another one he said uh, in the end of his life he went bankrupt and he said he realized it was from 40 years before he had once said to a man Ya Muflis. And that's what he said. He realized that that was the source of that Allah gave him what he had called that other man pointed out his fault. So, حَسَنَةَ الْأَبْرَارُ سَيَّاتِ الْمُقَرَّبِينَ You know, the good actions of righteous people are the bad actions of them. Mm -hmm. And also, including that would be weaknesses or faults of Muslims, whether they are absent or present. So actually reflecting on the faults of Muslims. 
right? I mean, you shouldn't even be doing that. And that's why there's a hadith, طوبة لمن شغره عيبه عن عيوب غيره There's a tree in paradise for the one who's preoccupied with his own faults uh, over the faults of others. His own preoccupation causes him to forget the faults of others. And the older you get, the more serious you should take that. You know, really. And it's just, life's too short to be. Everybody's got faults, and if you start thinking about other people's faults, you're just a fool. The point is, is to get rid of your own. And also, uh, I put in there, because it's important, but 